The filtering kit is an alternative to the common gravity-based liquid filtration. It comes with everything that you need to perform the experiment. It has a hand pump, a vacuum tube with radiator clamps on the end, a package of filter paper, it has a large filtration flask, a Buchner funnel, as well as a rubber stopper. The setup is very straightforward. We recommend a heavy support stand and a three finger flask. This is just to hold the apparatus stable when you place the Buchner funnel on top. Next thing you do is place the rubber stopper on the Buchner funnel and then just set it on top securely. The next thing you would do is connect the hose to the hand pump and to the flask. I would always recommend using radiator clamps to make sure that the connection is very snug. To prepare for the setup, I just took a one of the included filtering papers, soaked it in deionized water, got it all wet, and then I placed it on the inside. Here is your complete filtering flask apparatus all set up and ready to go. Now let's look at a quick experiment here to see the advantages of using a vacuum filtering system. Okay, I'm going to place in the solution that I'm working with. And then you can show the students how this is dripping. Gravity does make it work, but when I start pumping the air out, I definitely get a much better flow than just by gravity alone. So that's just gravity alone. And then when I start pumping the air out, it's not instantaneous. It is definitely quicker than just letting gravity do the work for you though. The vacuum filtering kit has many advantages over the gravity fed versions of filtration. It makes the process go much faster and you can have the students get involved by using either the hand pump or you can connect it to your own vacuum system that you have in your lab. It comes complete and it has a box of filter paper so if you ever run out you can always get more but you have at least 100 pieces to start 100 experiments with. And as I showed you before in the video this is fine to use on its own but I do highly recommend putting the flask onto a good support stand so nothing gets tipped over. Last thing you want to do is lose all your hard work on the precipitate you just created doing the filtering process.